Mode set. Executing. What's up gamers, it's your boy CRom 1019 Welcome back to The Curse of Monkey Island. Okay, so last we left off, we got into the good graces of uh, Mr. Good Soup here, and we've tricked him into thinking that we are part of his family, and he has promised to bury us in the Good Soup family crypt in the event that we should die. Speaking of which, let's die. <laughs> I'd like a drink, I'd like please. A drink, please. Right. Okay, he gave us a drink of grog. Let's spike it. And consume it. <laughs> Comical. Oh dear. He's had a sudden and completely unexpected relapse of death. Oh, and just as we were getting reacquainted. As his kinsman, it is my duty to give him a proper burial. It is my solemn vow. My dear vegetable good soup shall be buried in the good soup family crypt. All right. <laughs> Ooh, all right. Thankfully, he didn't take any of our stuff. Didn't really embalm us. So, we're in the Good Soup family crypt, but I think we can't get out. Let's take a look around. It's a memorial plaque for Mini Stroney Good Soup. Mini Stroney. Yikes. Oh. Well. It's a ghost in a bride's gown. She looks very sad and lonely. <clears throat> oh, hello there. Um, go into the light. If only it were that easy. I'm afraid I can never leave this crypt until I marry. Are you attached? <laughs> uh, yes. <laughs> Engaged, actually. <laughs> what a shame. You sure have pretty eyes. Oh. <laughs> um, nice hey, ring. Hey, nice ring. <laughs> Was it something I said? I hate this ring. It's been passed down from mother to daughter in the Good Soup family for generations. It was to be my wedding ring until that evil pirate stole the diamond and left me. Left me here to die of a broken heart. Hmm. St evil pirate stole a diamond. That must be what the sadness that the voodoo lady was talking about. Where's the diamond for your ring? It's gone. He took it. Who took it? My love. My honey cakes. My widow schnoobums. My LeChuck! LeChuck is your schnoobums? He pried the diamond from its satin during the rehearsal dinner. Oh, what a fool I was. He told me he was taking it out to get some fresh air. So LeChuck got close to this lady to take the diamond. Where did LeChuck take the diamond? Cad! The fiend! He sold it to the smugglers of Skull Island. It's just so humiliating. I could just die. Hmm. And he sold it to Smug Isle uh, Skull Island. Okay. Since you're uh, not using it, can I have your engagement band? This ring will remain on my finger until I have a wedding band to replace it. Okay. This is just a shade too creepy for me. I'm leaving. She's got an engagement band without a diamond. That might come in handy later. But we'll have to help her. Ooh, a crowbar. Yoink. Hmm. Can I examine this crack? <laughs> uh. Die! Murray! Oh, I'm not going to do that again. I think I broke my skull. I'm all skull. It's your own fault. Stop scaring me like that. So I did scare you? Really? Well, startled is more like it. Uh oh. 
b but startled in a terrified kind of way. You really are very, very scary. Don't talk down to me. I really don't have any choice. <laughs> I saw you get out of that crypt. Does this mean that you're dead? No, I was only faking. Darn. I thought together we could walk among the living and spawn a new wave of terror throughout the Caribbean. So what you're saying is that you only love me for my legs. Something like that. <clears throat> okay. Well. Uh, do I have a flashlight? Uh-oh. I might have stuck myself in here too soon. Hey. <laughs> We've got Murray. He just can't stop jammering. All right. Anyway. Oh, never mind. Hey, Mort. Hey, mister. Help. What? Who's there? Who said that? Who's scaring poor old Mort, the grave digger? There's been a horrifying mistake. I've been buried alive in the Good Soup family crypt. All right. This joke has gone far enough. You kids should be ashamed of yourselves. It's no joke. I'm really trapped in here. Crazy kids with your long hair and your Baroque music? <laughs> Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Hmm. I'm gonna go sulk. Oh, I remember now. now. Have a good time. Okay, actually, I got this arm. Let's see if we can grab this lantern. Well, that can reach the lantern, but it won't grab hold. Ah, uh, right. Um. Let's apply some paste to the arm, and then grab the lantern. I've got it. Hey, what happened to the light? Okay. So let's use the lantern with the I crack. Can't shed any light on that. Or I'll put it on the coffin lid. There we go. And then Murray with the crack. Hey, Murray, be fearsome. Okay. <laughs> I am one of the living dead. Fear me. Release me. Hey, look at me. I'm a ghost here. That's just pathetic. <laughs> uh, all right. Hmm. I think I have to use it with the lantern. Hang on. Murray, do your stuff. Here we go. Okay. Move. <laughs> Mortal fool, release me from this wretched tomb. I must be set free, or I will haunt you forever. I will hide your keys beneath the cushions of your upholstered furniture. <laughs> and never more will you be able to find socks that match. All right, hang on. I'm coming. <laughs> Great work, Murray. I... I was terrifying, wasn't I? My demonic powers have made me omnipotent! <laughs> Uh-oh. Looks like the lantern ran out of oil. There. It's opened. Now shuffle off and give me peace. Okay. Can I... Nice coffin lid. Can I take the lantern? It's useless now that it's out of oil. Guess not. All right. Let's go. We can leave the crypt now. We will need to come back here later. Oh, mutual of Stan. Let's go take a look in here. Hey, hey Guybrush. There sure are a lot of skeletons in here. Uh-oh. <laughs> Quick, pull the head off one and stick me on top of the spine! I don't think I want you walking around freely, Murray. Oh, please! <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Oh! Well, Murray, are you oh. ready to continue our heady adventuring? Murray? Where'd he go? Ah, oh, Murray left. Okay, well, he somehow escaped, but anyway, let's go back and talk to Stan. Got this whole office set up now. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to Stan. Ok, 
Okay. Uh, you convinced me. I want to buy some insurance. A wise choice, and one you won't soon regret. The question isn't whether or not you can afford to buy an insurance policy. It's whether you can afford not to. Speaking of which, can you afford to buy an insurance policy? Well, how much does it cost? Oh, that depends on a variety of factors. How much coverage you need, how much you're willing to spend, all sorts of highly complicated sliding scale insurance equations and such. But I won't bore you with all that. Just let me ask you this. How much money do you have? Well, I've got these wooden nickels. I see. Maybe I've confused you somewhere along the line. While nothing would please me more to send you out of here, with the peace of mind that your family will be provided for in the unlikely event of your death, I have to run a business here. If you can't at least show me some collateral, I can't give you a policy. Uh, let's see. How about this? This authentic pirate relic. A genuine tooth from an actual pirate. Only one of its kind. Is that real gold? The finest known to man. Not much spit on it either anymore. Now you're starting to speak my language. All right, let's find a coverage plan that suits your needs. And you can rest assured that you've provided for your family well after your unfortunate departure. What are the terms of this plan exactly? It's quite simple, son. When you die, whoever holds that policy gets a lot of money. A lot of money? Wow. Wow is right. Now I want you to be careful out there. Okay, I will. Thanks. No, I'm serious. I want you to be very, very careful. Will do. Sucker. <laughs> All right, let's take off. Da, 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 da. Okay, so more work to do. Okay, let's head back to this windmill. Could probably open this door now. Maybe Jimmy this lock or something. I can't use the chisel with that. Uh, can I Jimmy the door of the card? The lock's too big for this. Nope. Okay. Um, an <laughs> auger. That doesn't need to be augered. Do, 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 do. I don't remember how to get in here. I can't use the crowbar with that. Hmm. I know I need to get in this door, I just don't remember how. Because I think there's stuff in this barrel. There's a barrel at the top of the window. It's locked. Hmm. Nah. Uh, I must be missing something to open this door. All right, we'll come back later. Uh, in the meantime, let's head back to the hotel. Hey, what an amazing story I have to tell. I was dead, but I live again. Who wants to hear about it? Eh, you guys don't deserve to hear a good story. Ugh, tough crowd. All right, let's go back here. Ooh, this is new. A death certificate. Okay. Let's head back up the stairs. And into this bedroom here. Can I examine the skeleton? Wow. I'll bet his room charges are pretty hefty by now. Hmm. He was reading a book about the Good Soup family history, but I don't have any idea how to identify this ghost. Either way, or the skeleton. Either way, this hole's bordered. <laughs> Alright. Well, let's see what would happen if we rip the bed right out of the nails. Oh, he lives. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I didn't hear you come in. I was just with Charles. Charles de Goulash, is it really you? Minnie, it's been so long. Oh, Charles, it has. It has. You look so different. Really? 
Why, you look exactly the same. Oh, Charles, how you flatter me. Oh, but you must go now. But why? Now that I've found you again after all these years. What would our families say if they knew we were alone together on such a romantic night? Minnie, this may sound rash, but I... I love you, Minnie Good Soup. Oh, Charles, you mustn't. Oh, I can't help it. I've always loved you. Do you hear? I've always loved you, Minnie, and I always will. Come away with me now. Love? Oh, but Charles, it just isn't done. Think of the scandal it would cause. To heck with the scandal, Minnie. Oh. Marry me. Oh, yes, Charles, yes. A thousand times, yes. Then kiss me, my love. Oh, how sweet. I'm happy for them. All right, well, that set the bride free, and that loosened up this engagement band. Let's take that. We will need that for our makeshift ring. Okay. We are done in the crypt. Meanwhile... Have you found her, you cadaverous canine? Yeah, yeah, uh, nope. Nope, she's not on Plunder Island, Captain LeChuck. <laughs> then scour the seas, you ossified rats! Hunt them down, then bring them to me. Find me Guy Rush Drinkwood. It's with him that you'll find Elaine. Burn down every island in the Caribbean if you have to. But bring me my bride! And more slaw! Curse those villains! They never give you enough slaw with these value meals. <laughs> okay. So that's done. Let's check in with Stan again. Welcome back to Mutual of Stan. Da, 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 da. Okay, so I think I need to... Let's see, where's my insurance policy? That's my death certificate. So if I look at this... This hereby certifies that Vegetable Good Soup met his demise at least once on Blood Island. Hmm. Okay, so here's my insurance policy. This entitles the bearer of this document to the sum of a lot of money on the event of the demise of Vegetable Good Soup. Ah! Well, I have a policy for Vegetable Good Soup and a death certificate of Vegetable Good Soup. So let's see if I can turn this in. I'm cashing in this insurance policy. Give me a lot of money. But this is a life insurance policy. You collect when the policyholder dies. No, honest. I was dead for a really long time. And you just got better? Well, yes. Do you have any proof of this miracle? As a matter of fact, smart guy, I've got your proof right here. A death certificate. Well, this must be some kind of mistake. Uh-uh, it's right there in high-res black and white. I died. Give me a lot of money. Hmm. It looks like I'm left with no choice but to acquiesce. No, just give me my money. That's what I mean. Oh, thanks. All right. We have cheated Scan out of a bunch of money for a life insurance policy, and he's none the wiser somehow. So let's take off. Okay, we can leave here. Um, we don't need to go to the village. What else do I need? I need to figure out how to open that. To oh, there was Boy, a lighthouse here. Up here. I forgot about this lighthouse. So. Can't really do anything here yet. At least I don't think. It concentrates the light into a beacon for wayward vessels. Makes a man proud. It's broken. Ah, so there's a broken mirror here. Let's replace that with the good mirror. Perfect. Okay. But we still had are missing a light. We'll have to come back. Um, 
So, I need to get into that windmill. And I don't quite remember how. I don't remember if there was a key somewhere. Let me take a quick look. I'm sure it can't be that hard. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Oh, right. Okay. I actually can't open the door. But the blades are constantly working. So if I use the umbrella on the blades... There we go. Okay, now let's examine this barrel. It's full of fermenting sugar. Oh, wait a minute, what? Nah. Eh. It's full of fermenting sugar water used for making rum. Ah, that sounds helpful. Let's get a whole jar of that. It's full of sugar water now. Okay. And we'll go through the windmill, and that will open the door. Okay. Off we go. Back to the beach. Uh, not to the beach. I need to go to the lighthouse. Okay. Nope, I don't need to go to the lighthouse. I'm sorry. I need to go back to this clearing where Elaine is. And use this with the stump. It's full of yummy, delicious sugar water. Mm, bet that water sure tastes good. There we go. That attracted the fireflies. And let's use the lid on the firefly jar. They're trapped inside and glowing like mad. Great. All right. Now we can leave. And we can go to the lighthouse. Dead fireflies. What? Oh, no. All the fireflies have suffocated. Oops. Uh, okay. I made a little error. <laughs> I forgot to put holes in the jar. I've poked holes in the lid of the jar. Okay. <laughs> I need to use the jar with something else. Let's try this again. All right. They're trapped inside and glowing like mad. Okay. Now let's leave to the lighthouse and use this with the lens. I can't use the jar with that. Uh, it's where the... I can't use the jar with that. Hold on. Oh, there it is, with the lantern post. The lighthouse is working now. There we go. Now to the beach. Ah, oh, well, looks like a mysterious figure has shown up now that he's seen the light from the lighthouse. Let's go have a chat with him. Who are you? I... I am the lost Welshman. Ooh. I am the ferryman between here and Skull Island. Trapped for so very long in the icy ocean mists. Oh, how I hate that blasted mist. Really? I like mist. I think it's pretty. Well, sure, mist is pretty. But egad, is it dull. I'd like to ride, please. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. I will risk these rough waters no more. For too long have I rocked that watery cradle of death. Freaky imagery. Whatever. Anyway, I'm not going out there again until I'm sure I can make it there safely. I need a compass. Hmm. A compass, How you say? How able to draw perfect circles get you out to Skull Island? Not that kind of compass. The directional kind. 
If you find me one, I'll take you to Skull Island. Hmm. A compass, you say? Well... What if we take this measuring cup and fill it with seawater? It's full of seawater. And then we take this cork and put a pin okay. in it. And then we magnetize the pin. Cool, a cork with a magnetic pin stuck in it. The mind boggles at the possibilities. And then we put it into the mug. Hey, neat, it points north. Hey! Science is fun when you know the secret. Okay, let's give him this. Here, take this compass. This is a compass? Will it work? Of course. See how it points north? Wow, that's incredible. How'd you do that? That eh, was nothing. <laughs> okay, let's talk to him. Let me see if there's anything else I need to be doing here. Um, no, I think we're good. I think we can go to Skull Island. Okay, let's go. I'd like a ride, I'd please. I'd like a ride out to Skull Island, please. All right, let's go. Even the bravest of men must dread the horror of this place. Steal your courage, boy, now, before you gaze upon the terrible, horrible face of Skull Island. <laughs> That's a duck. What are you talking about? Don't you see the skull? This island doesn't look like a skull at all. It looks like a great, big, enormous duck. It should be called Duck Island. Well, you see, you, you gotta squint and sort of turn your head and... Ooh, it's just so scary. If you squint and turn your head, it looks like a bunny. Well, anyway, see that light up there on the cliff face? That's Smuggler's Cave. It's run by King Andre, the greatest smuggler in the world. And his nefarious assistant, Cruff. But how do I get up there? You'll have to go to the top of the cliff. Won't you be coming with me? No, you must go alone. There will be someone there who will help you. But I warn you, beware of King Andre. He is as ruthless as he is bald. Good luck. Thanks. Hmm, smugglers, you say? Oh, hello there, sir. Hello. Can you tell me how to find the evil smugglers of Skull Island? Beats me. Oh, wait a second. Uh, I, I think I remember something about that at the orientation seminar. Let me think. The cave is halfway down this sheer cliff face. Climb on board this dumbwaiter. I'll, I'll, I'll lower you down. It looks pretty rickety. Are you sure it's safe? No. Never used it before. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it can't be that dangerous. I'm a temp here. The, the usual elevator operator, uh, Braunbeard, uh, he's sick, so I'm filling in. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. What's your name? It's LaFoot. Oh, LaFoot. Interesting. Would you lower me down to the smuggler's cave? Sure, sure, I can do that. You, you must weigh no more than, say, 20 pounds, right? Actually, more like 120. Oh. Well, it can't hurt to try, right? No, you're sure about this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't look that heavy at all. Hmm. Is that not tied securely? Here we go. <laughs> okay, give me a little bit more slack. Oops. Okay, that's too much slack. Ah! Okay, we're falling. But we can slow our descent with this umbrella? Oh, right. Whoops. Wasn't fast enough. Okay, let's try that again. I just want to see him climb up to the cliff top. Okay. Uh, 
A fetla foot, okay. Yes? Let's try that lowering me down the cliff thing again. All right. I, I think I'm getting better at this. Please be careful this time. No problem. Here we go. I got it. I got it. I don't got it. Okay. This time, use umbrella. There we go. I'm Mary Poppins, y'all. Okay. Well, hello, smugglers. Um, let's see. <laughs> Hi there, neighbor. Got any diamonds? Wouldn't you know, but I'm fresh out. Go away. Darn. Let me try that again. Hmm. So, uh, where's this huge diamond you guys are supposed to have? <sighs> Have at him, Croft. All right, let me try that again. I, I know what I have to say. I just kind of want to. Good afternoon. I'm the new Skull Island Diamond Inspector. I'm going to have to see every diamond you've got. Every last one. Come on, people. Chop, chop. I don't have all day. I do not like this man. Kill him. Darn. Let me try that again. All right, I'll tell him what he needs to hear. I have got so much money, it's almost embarrassing. Well, hello. Let's talk, Mr. Uh... Um. Good soup. Wonton good soup. Very well, <laughs> Mr. Threeport. Hey, how did you know what? my- It is my business to know who enters and leaves Skull Island. I am King Andre, and this is my associate Gruff. Were you looking for something in particular? I good was. Good soup family diamond. LeChuck stole it, you bought it, I want it. Now. <sighs> Please? <laughs> Sir? But we have so much quality merchandise here at the Pirates Club. Our prices get lower every day. Everything a pirate or pirate in trading could possibly want is here for the right price. <laughs> uh. Could you not laugh like that anymore? The Good Soup Diamond is the centerpiece of my collection. The fantastic energy flowing through it is the key to all my power. So, can I have it? Of course you can't have it. Unless you were to give me something in return. Uh, well. Hmm. That diamond belongs in a museum. So do post-impressionist paintings, Mr. Threepwood. So do post-impressionist paintings. <laughs> what the heck is that supposed to mean? One day, you will understand. Okay. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Threepwood. I expect you to buy. <laughs> Your evil plan will never work, Andre. But it is flawless. A carefully placed series of charges laid throughout Blood Island, all controlled by a network of satellites in geosynchronous orbit. And only one man has access to the master switch. Oh, uh, boss. I am that man. That sounds like the plot to Goldeneye. Yes, Mr. Croft. Ixnay on the evil land play? Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> You're a madman. Am I mad? Am I? <laughs> All right. Madness to sit in a cave at the top of a deserted island, accumulating vast amounts of gold and jewels and stuffed animals. Yes. Stockpiling plunder from across the Caribbean and passing the savings on to you? Is that madness or genius? Good point. I take it back. I'm not crazy. My prices are. All right. Maybe we can make a deal. Maybe we could make a deal. As you wish. You are a formidable opponent, Mr. Threepwood, but it looks as if our game of cat and mouse must cease. It is a perfect diamond, one of the largest I've ever seen. I'll take it. And so it comes with a very large price. Eh, enough with the hard sell. How much? It will cost you an awful lot of money. Do you have that much? Well, I have a lot of money. <laughs> Not enough. My partner is right. We can't give it to you for anything less than an awful lot of money. But perhaps we can make a deal. My partner and I are very fond of cards. Uh, poker in particular. How about a little wager? 
If you can defeat us at poker, you win the diamond. Sounds fair. Yes, fair. <laughs> Could you stop laughing like that? It's very unnerving. So, Mr. Threepwood, the question is to you. Care to join us in a game of cards? Well, I don't see why not. Sounds fun. Deal me in, Baldy. You will have to pay to enter the game. Well, how much do I need? Not very much. Sure, I can handle that. This is a lot of money. I better only give them part of it. Have you ever played poker before, Mr. Threepwood? No. Would you believe this is my very first time? <laughs> Then I'll give you a brief explanation. The game is the simplest variety of five card start. I deal five cards to each of us. We show our cards to each other, and the player with the best hand wins. Well, how do I know what makes the best hand? If you have any questions, just ask us. You do trust us, don't you? <laughs> of course I trust you. <laughs> Very well. Let us begin. Hey, dealer, 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 dealer. Swing, dealer. Take a moment to look at your cards. What can I, I can I still talk to them about this? Got a really terrible hand. Wait, no. Apparently, good fortune is not in the cards for you. Why did you? <laughs> I thought we agreed you weren't gonna laugh like that anymore. I have a full house. Aces over kings. You lose. Perhaps you should try again. You bet! I'm gonna win that diamond. I thought I could talk to him your side of the wager, with, uh... Mr. I can probably keep doing this. Very I guess well. I won't run Let out of money. Begin. No whammies. No whammies. <laughs> so I can't talk to them? Take a moment to look at your cards. Can I... No! Shoot. Alright. Giving up, Guybrush? I was just stretching my legs. I want to keep playing. Okay, so I can't talk to them or anything. Hmm. Hmm. Nope. I think that would be a very bad idea. He's not much of a talker. So I can't. I think he could take me. Nothing again. Hmm. This is exactly the same hand I had last time. How's that even possible? That's an interesting turn of luck, Mr. Threepwood. <laughs> interesting. Hmm. I have a royal flush. It seems as if you've lost again. Maybe your luck will improve. Would you care to try again? So, it sounds like he's cheating. You bet. I'm going to win that diamond. Put up your side of the wager, Mr. Threepwood. Very well. Let us begin. No whammies. No whammies. All right, so if he's cheating... Take a moment to look at your cards. Perhaps we should cheat back. Let's take the weak hand. Can I examine this hand? These aren't even real playing cards. What game is this? Oh, see? Okay. Let's swap these for the tarot cards. Five of a kind. Right there. Not even you guys can beat five of a kind. You're correct, Mr. Threepwood. We cannot beat five of a kind. The question remains, however, whether or not you can beat a pair. A pair? A pair of murderous smugglers. Huh? Us, Mr. Threepwood. I am talking about us. We're gonna kill you. Oh, I get it. <laughs> whether or not you can beat a pair, that's pretty clever. Now, now, gentlemen, let's not be too hasty. There's a delivery man out here with a package. You idiots! You blew out the lights! I got the diamond. Not for long, you little... Girls! Hit him, not me, you cretin! Who are you calling a poor? There he goes! Get him! Got what I needed from the smugglers. Good. Let us leave this place of evil. There's just one thing I need to do first. Really? What's that? Who's there? Oh, it's just you. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Help! Help! Ah! <laughs> Good luck on the rest of your adventures, Guybrush. What? You can't mean... I'm afraid so. 
This work is too dangerous for me. I'm going to find a more stable, secure line of work. I hear there's still an opening for a chef on Scab Island. Well, you'll be sorely missed. I know, but my destiny lies out there, somewhere, beyond the rolling waves. Farewell, good friend Welshman. So long, Scab Island. He's going to that restaurant. Oh, wait, where'd you say Scab Island was again? East by northeast. You can't miss it. No, thanks a bunch. Ah, whoops, I forgot to tell him that a magnetized pin will only have compass-like properties for a short time. Eh, well, I'm sure he'll find out. All right. Meanwhile... Uh-oh. LeChuck and his forces are coming for us. We better make this quick. Let's go back to the clearing. All right, we finally got an enormous diamond and an empty engagement band. It's a massive diamond engagement ring. All right, can we get this one off of her hand? That ring is really stuck on her finger. Oh, I know what'll get that off. Let's see if this slippery, greasy lotion does the trick. That should do it. Alright, let's see if we can pull that off. The cursed ring exploded! Well, guess we don't need to worry about that cursing anybody else again. And now, the peace day resistance. Are you all right? Guybrush? Where... where are we? You're okay. We're on Blood Island. LeChuck's ring had a terrible curse on it, but I put everything right. You're safe and everything's gonna be fine. Just... fine. Oh. They found us. Part 5, Kiss of the Spider Monkey. Hey gamers, future CD-ROM 1019 here. So, uh, when I was originally recording this, I, uh, my original idea was that uh, I was gonna have a quick discussion with LeChuck, and uh, then we were gonna pause the video and just call that an episode. But, I ended up recording a much longer conversation with LeChuck than I originally intended, so I didn't actually record the goodbye. So, I'm making a quick on-the-fly edit here to say thank you so much for watching. Make sure you check out the rest of the videos on the GSL YouTube channel. Check out officialytr.com slash forums for more fun. And myself at twitch.tv slash chaos control channel. Because the next video will pick up where this conversation began. And it may look just a touch funky or a little out of place as I uh, continue to make this edit. We'll see you guys for next week's episode. Take care. Bye-bye.